guys, it's Ashley. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I have not done one of these in a while. I probably say that like every time I do a favorites video, but I didn't want to make this just like a September favorites or no. Yeah. Oh my god, it's going to be October. Wow. September went really fast. Honestly, it really did, but that was probably because like back to school kind of like does that. I don't know, it like wears you out really quick and like you don't really think about like the dates, at least I don't. And um, yeah, so I am doing a fall favorites video because I thought that was a little bit more fun and fall is literally like one of my favorite seasons other than summer because that's when I was born. So yeah, it's just like fun because you get no homework. But I don't know, I just love sweaters and football games and candles and pumpkins and like all that cute stuff. So yeah, um, if you're wondering, I just have like this wristband for my school and it says Roar for the Cure and it's like breast cancer awareness and then on this arm I just have these crinkly bracelets. So I don't know if you saw those, but yeah, uh, sorry about that. And I just want to address my beautiful little pumpkin. Look at how cute that is. Ah! I don't know. I stole it from my mom because she had it like in the kitchen. I was like, no, that's going in my room. So it's in my room now because I just love it. So yeah, enough blabbering and let's get into the video. You're probably going to be like, Ashley, well, it's not even like fall yet, God. But I've had these favorites from last fall and I like wear fall stuff now, even though it's like still kind of summer out. Okay, so we're going to start with beauties, mostly eyeshadows for right now. So the first one is the most expensive one and this is the Naked palette, just the original one. And um, this one's like $50. I broke the mirror in it because like I literally like dropped it and it like cracked. The Naked 2 palette, like the packaging is like so much better and better quality, but... These colors are a lot better for fall. They're just more warm toned colors and I just like wearing those in the fall time. Like especially these. I don't know. I like using darker toned eyeshadows. And I think they're fun to play around with. So this is the most expensive one. And now I have two cheaper alternatives if you do not want to splurge on this. So the first one I got last year. And you probably won't be able to tell that I used it because these eyeshadows like literally last forever. But this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow collection. And this is in Petal Pusher. And it looks like that. It's just got some fall tone colors. I really like this mossy green, the crease color, and the eyelid color. I really like this side. And this color is like really fun to play around with. It's like blues and purples. So this you can make a really pretty smoky eye or a leaves kind of colored look. I don't know. I just really liked this and it was a very inexpensive like probably about three dollars so great deal. I also have another one and this is also Wet n Wild Color Icon and this is in Comfort Zone and this has other fall cone colors. These are like warmer I guess you could say. Why isn't it opening? Oh right because I like was wearing tips when I opened it and I still have tips and so like the packaging is like all messed up. But these are the colors in this one. These are a little bit more fall toned in my opinion. I don't know. They're all just like darker toned colors and they've got some a nice gold, a nice like muddy brown color, um, like a maroon, a um, really cool blue, like a dark blue that has like hints of brown in it. Then there's a shimmery like dark green and then there's a light green. Then there's a two brown bone colors. But, I don't know, this is just a really nice palette, and these are very good quality. Definitely recommend these. I'm trying to go all across the board, like, high-end and low-end. So, my favorite high-end fall blush is Max uh, Vintage Grape. This was limited edition, but I just had to have it. Um, it's like a ombre blush, and it's like a very pretty plum color. I don't know, it's just very pretty for the fall time. But, if you do not have your hands on that, then I definitely recommend these two. So one's a bronzer and one is a blush. So this is the blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me blush and this is in deep rose. So this is a deep rose color. This is usually like aimed towards like a natural kind of color for uh, women with like a darker skin tone but it honestly just looks like really nice for like a nice hint of color on like your fair skin if you have that. And if not, then I think this would look really natural and pretty if you have dark skin. This one is something I got in the summer. This was in my 
my heart summer tag and this is the Milani face powder in medium tan okay this isn't supposed to be a bronzer but I use it as a bronzer because everyone's like I can't find an inexpensive matte bronzer so I'm like why don't you just get like face powder that's for darker complexions so that's what I do and it's just so much easier so um just like a dark chocolate color I don't know it's very natural because it's made for people that have this color skin so I just use this and it just contours your cheeks very well so yeah I'm now moving on to my many favorite dark lip colors I tried to vary between um, consistencies and stuff like that so I've got an option for everyone here so the first one is one of my favorites from last year this is from Maybelline color sensational this is 175 bit of berry which is a very pretty color I don't know it's like a berry color like it says and it's just great for the fall this is a Revlon um, lip butter and this is in this is in berry smoothie so we're gonna open that and that's right there so as you can tell this feels a little bit more chapstick like and a little bit more moisturizing than this one is and it gives off a great color for people who like the Tarte Amazonian Clay, um, like, big crayon kind of lip stuff, I have a dupe, and this is from Revlon, all of it came off because I use this so often. This is in Smitten, and this is in 30, if you're wondering. So, this just gives, like, a nice kind of sheerish color like in the morning my lips are like really pale from like sleeping and stuff so I just use this and it just gives it like a nice hint or you can like darken it up like this I have it on right now this is like it like actually like put on but if you just sheer it out it looks very pretty as well so this is one of my favorites this is the most expensive one of the bunch this is from MAC and this is Craving favorite favorite fall color and that's just on the end right here this is probably the deepest one of them all. Like the other ones are like a little less berry colored, but this one is very buried. And I love it. For people who like a chapstick kind of consistency, I recommend the CoverGirl Smoochies OXXO lipstick in Text Me. Hashtag Text Me. Yeah. And that's right here. So as you can tell, still a very pretty berry color, but this is literal chapstick. Smells like cherries and it works great. I love this. And lastly, for those people who really want a nice and matte kind of color that'll stay on forever, girl, you gotta try the Extreme Lip Cream from NYX. This is in the color Bonfire. I love this color. The only bad thing is that this kind of dries out your lips, but this is such a pretty reddish, like a dark red color. Mm, it's great for the fall. So. These are all the colors, and as you can tell, they're all very pretty and dark for the fall time months. So, absolutely love all these, and there's only one that's expensive out of all of them. So, I definitely recommend checking these out. Now I'm moving on to um some nail polishes. I get my nails done now, like, at a salon, so I don't know the color names, because it's not by, like, OPI. It's, like, weird gel nail polish brands. So, yeah, I just get tips, and this is the color I have on now it's just like a pretty reddish burnt orange color with glitter in it it's very pretty for the fall but these are the colors I used last year when I did not get my nails done the first one is by Essie and it is this kind of color and this is in the shade Bahama Mama it's a little bit more sheer in the like when you put it on your nails but I really love this it's like a dark plum color with hints of red in it, very pretty. I have an OPI Lincoln Park After Dark. This is just a little bit green and not as black as it's coming up. It's actually a hint brownish green. And I don't know, it just, it's very dark and like mysterious, but not completely black. And I have a Sally Hansen Insta Dry one, and this is in Cinesnap. And this just is really cool, I don't know. It dries pretty quickly and works well, so this is like a cranberry kind of color. Or as they say, Cinesnap, so yeah. Lastly, the least expensive one is the Wet n Wild um, Wild Shine Nail Color, and this is just in black, I think. 
But yeah, um, this is really cool. I used to do matte nail polish colors with this, and if you're wondering, you just like heat up a pot, and then you put the steam like over your nails as they're drying, and it like makes them matte, and it looks really cool. My favorite, favorite, favorite fall scent is Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works. There's a lot of mixed opinions on this because it smells like I don't know. It's got like a very different kind of smell to it, but I think it smells like musky and like. A hint of sweet. I don't know. It just reminds me of like a fall night. Like like weirdly fresh air. I don't know. You just gotta smell it, okay? So, love that. That was really creepy. But I got this on sale for like a dollar. It's originally five. So I just like to keep this in my bag and like... Like you need one, one little... What is that? One little spritzing or good. And now moving on to some candles. I have all these in big candles, but I didn't want to like show you the big candle because it's like harder to carry. So I just showed you all the minis. So I have burnt them before, but some of these don't look burnt. So the first one is a scented jar candle. Two. <coughs> Two. <coughs> oh. But this is an apple pie scented candle. It's just, um, what does it say? Burn within sight. Oh, no, that's not the description of it. It just smells like cinnamon apple pie. That's how I describe it. Cinnamon apple pie. Then we have leaves. This is my favorite. Follow them. I don't know. It's just really good. And this is golden nectar, juicy mandarin, and red delicious apples blended with toasted cinnamon, mold cider, and freshly harvested berries. It just literally smells like a fall jumble of everything. It just, it just makes your house smell like really spicy and fresh and like mellow. That's that's a great word to describe fall. Mellow. And then I have White Barn Mahogany Teakwood and it says this scent of fine woods, mahogany, cedar wood, and oak highlighted by delicate lavender and geranium notes uh, conjure up an escape to a cozy library on a chilly fall day. Personally, it just smells like Abercrombie and Fitch, and it just smells beautiful, okay? This is Slacken & Co. Autumn Scented Candle, and whoa, ow, that just hit me in the boop. But, um, this is a crisp fall fragrance that blends pomegranate and red delicious apples with notes of fir, balsam, and rich cedar wood. This just smells like, this smells like outside, like outside autumn and like the leaves. And this smells like a cozy home. So these, I don't know, I, I bought these together and like I always connect them. They both have really cute leaves on them. So anyway, those are all my favorites. I hope you guys got a little inspiration to like explore your options in fall. I don't know, I just think it's like a very pretty fall fashion season and very pretty nail colors and makeup so I hope you guys are inspired and going to try out some of these products also I want you guys to tell me what are some of your favorite Bath and Body Works fall time candles because I want to buy some and also winter time candles as well so if you can leave that down below that would be wonderful don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I have an Ask FM, and Timmy has an Ask FM if you want to ask him questions. So that'll be linked at the end of the video and in the bottom bar below. So hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Peace.